Hello guys, this is a short video series on solving numericals of digital communication subject. The first chapter that we are going to see is information theory. So consider this question. The question is that consider an extremely noisy channel having a bandwidth of 1 kilohertz. What would be the channel capacity? So it is given that it is extremely noisy channel. Okay, so automatically my S by N equals to zero because if it has maximum noise, then I know that S by N is nothing but power of signal upon power of noise. And if my power of noise is infinite, whatever may be the power of signal, it will come out to be zero. So that is why my S by N is zero. Next, it is given that bandwidth or equals to 1 kilohertz. Then I need to find channel capacity. So channel capacity is bandwidth multiplied by log base to 1 plus S by N. So my bandwidth is equal to 1 kilohertz which is 1 into 10 raised to 3 multiplied by log of base 2. 1 plus s by n is 0 which means I have 1 into 10 raised to 3 into log base to 1. Log base to 1 is equal to 0 so my channel capacity is finally 0. Now this answer makes sense reason being if my channel is extremely noisy there is no way that I can put any data into it that is why this answer is I can say factually correct. Now the unit of channel capacity is bits per second. Let's solve another question. What if I am given that my S by N is equal to 10 raised to 4 and bandwidth B is equal to 2 megahertz. Not S by N but S by N naught. How to differentiate whether I am given S by N or S by N naught? You can say that I am always given signal to noise spectral density. If this is mentioned in this question, then I have to assume that it is S by N naught and that is let's say equal to 10 raised to 4. Or for calculation purposes, let's have it 10 raised to 5 because then it will get easy for calculation. Now let's solve it further. I know that my channel capacity is equal to bandwidth into log base 2 1 plus S by N. But I am given S by N naught. So what I know is N is equal to n naught into bandwidth. So now my formula changes to c is equal to b into log base 2 1 plus s by in place of n I will write n naught b. Now let's substitute the values I will have c equal to bandwidth which is equal to 2 megahertz which is 2 into 10 raised to 6 log base 2 1 plus my s by n naught which is equal to 10 raised to 5 upon bandwidth remains which is again 2 into 10 raised to 6 and on solving this I will get 2 into 10 raised to 6 log base 2 1.05 so on solving this further I will have 140 778.6 bits per second. This is my channel capacity. What if in question I am asked to find R max, which is nothing but maximum information rate? Now, to find R max, I need to know one thing that according to Shannon's formula,
R is always less than or equal to C. That is my maximum information rate will be always less than or equal to my channel capacity, which I think is understandable because if the channel does not have the capacity, then there is no chance that a information greater than my capacity will be transferred. So now my R max is automatically equal to my C which is equal to 140778.6 bits per second. Now what will happen if my bandwidth is infinite? Suppose I am giving you that my bandwidth is infinite. Then what about my information rate? Then the formula for information rate changes. If bandwidth is infinite, okay, then my R max is equal to 1.44 into S upon N naught, which is in this case equal to 1.44 into 10 raised to 5, which comes out to be 144000 bits per second. So this is a special case. If in the question it is mentioned that your bandwidth is equal to infinite, then find the maximum information rate. Maximum information rate won't be ever infinite. So there is this formula 1.44 into S by N naught and this we get this answer. Now let's consider this question. I am given that there are five different symbols or message bits m1 m2 m3 m4 m5 each having probabilities 0 0.4 0 0.2 0 0.3 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 0 0.9 0 0.10 0 0.11 0 0.12 0 0.13 0 0.14 0 0.15 0 0.16 0 0.17 0 0.18 0 0.19 0 0.20 0 0.21 0 0.22 0 0.23 0 0.24 0 0.25 0 0.26 0 0.27 0 0.28 0 0.29 0 0.30 0 0.31 0 0.32 0 0.33 0 0.34 0 0.35 0 0.36 0 0.37 0 0.38 0 0.39 0 0.40 0 0.41 0 0.42 0 0.43 0 0.44 0 0.45 0 0.46 0 0.47 0 0.48 0 0.49 0 0.50 0 0.51 0 0.52 0 0.53 0 0.54 0 0.55 0 0.56 0 0.57 0 0.58 0 0.59 0 0.60 0 0.61 0 0.62 0 0.63 0 0.64 0 0.65 0 0.66 0 0.67 0 0.68 0 0.69 0 0.70 0 0.71 0 0.72 0 0.73 0 0.74 0 0.75 0 0.76 0 0.77 0 0.78 0 0.79 0 0.80 0 0.81 0 0.82 0 0.83 0 0.84 0 0.85 0 0.86 0 0.87 0 0.88 0 0.89 0 0.90 0 0.91 0 0.92 0 0.93 0 0.94 0 0.95 0 0.96 0 0.97 0 0.98 0 0.99 0 0.10 0 0.11 0 0.12 0 0.13 0 0.14 0 0.15 0 0.16 0 0.17 0 0.18 0 0.19 0 0.20 0 0.21 0 0.22 0 0.23 0 0.24 0 0.25 0 0.26 0 0.27 0 0.28 0 0.29 0 0.30 0 0.31 0 0.32 0 0.33 0 0.34 0 0.35 0 0.36 0 0.37 0 0.38 0 0.39 0 0.40 0 0.41 0 0.42 0 0.43 0 0.44 0 0.45 0 0.46 0 0.47 0 0.48 0 0.49 0 0.50 0 0.51 0 0.52 0 0.53 0 0.54 0 0.55 0 0.56 0 0.57 0 0.58 0 0.59 0 0.60 0 0.61 0 0.62 0 0.63 0 0.64 0 0.65 0 0.66 0 0.67 0 0.68 0 0.69 0 0.70 0 0.71 0 0.72 0 0.73 0 0.74 0 0.75 0 0.76 0 0.77 0 0.78 0 0.79 0 0.80 0 0.81 0 0.82 0 0.83 0 0.84 0 0.85 0 0.86 0 0.87 0 0.88 0 0.89 0 0.90 0 0.91 0 0.92 0 0.93 0 0.94 0 0.95 0 0.96 0 0.97 0 0.98 0 0.99 0 0.10 0 0.11 0 0.12 0 0.13 0 0.14 0 0.15 0 0.16 0 0.17 0 0.18 0 0.19 0 0.20 0 0.21 0 0.22 0 0.23 0 0.24 0 0.25 0 0.26 0 0.27 0 0.28 0 0.29 0 0.30 0 0.31 0 0.32 0 0.33 0 0.34 0 0.35 0 0.36 0 0.37 0 0.38 0 0.39 0 0.40 0 0.41 0 0.42 0 0.43 0 0.44 0 0.45 0 0.46 0 0.47 0 0.48 0 0.49 0 0.50 0 0.51 0 0.52 0 0.53 0 0.54 0 0.55 0 0.56 0 0.57 0 0.58 0 0.59 0 0.60 0 0.61 0 0.62 0 0.63 0 0.64 0 0.65 0 0.66 0 0.67 0 0.68 0 0.69 0 0.70 0 0.71 0 0.72 0 0.73 0 0.74 0 0.75 0 0.76 0 0.77 0 0.78 0 0.79 0 0.80 0 0.81 0 0.82 0 0.83 0 0.84 0 0.85 0 0.86 0 0.87 0 0.88 0 0.89 0 0.90 0 0.91 0 0.92 0 0.93 0 0.94 0 0.95 0 0.96 0 0.97 0 0.98 0 0.99 0 0.10 0 0.11 0 0.12 0 0.13 0 0.14 0 0.15 0 0.16 0 0.17 0 0.18 0 0.19 0 0.20 0 0.21 0 0.22 0 0.23 0 0.24 0 0.25 0 0.26 0 0.27 0 0.28 0 0.29 0 0.30 0 0.31 0 0.32 0 0.33 0 0.34 0 0.35 0 0.36 0 0.37 0 0.38 0 0.39 0 0.40 0 0.41 0 0.42 0 0.43 0 0.44 0 0.45 0 0.46 0 0.47 0 0.48 0 0.49 0 0.50 0 0.51 0 0.52 0 0.53 0 0.54 0 0.55 0 0.56 0 0.57 0 0.58 0 0.59 0 0.60 0 0.61 0 0.62 0 0.63 0 0.64 0 0.65 0 0.66 0 0.67 0 0.68 0 0.69 0 0.70 0 0.71 0 0.72 0 0.73 0 0.74 0 0.75 0 0.76 0 0.77 0 0.78 0 0.79 0 0.80 0 0.81 0 0.82 0 0.83 0 0.84 0 0.85 0 0.86 0 0.87 0 0.88 0 0.89 0 0.90 0 0.91 0 0.92 0 0.93 0 0.94 0 0.95 0 0.96 0 0.97 0 0.98 0 0.99 0 0.10 0 0.11 0 0.12 0 0.13 0 0.14 0 0.15 0 0.16 0 0.17 0 0.18 0 0.19 0 0.20 0 0.21 0 0.22 0 0.23 0 0.24 0 0.25 0 0.26 0 0.27 0 0.28 0 0.29 0 0.30 0 0.31 0 0.32 0 0.33 0 0.34 0 0.35 0 0.36 0 0.37 0 0.38 0 0.39 0 0.40 0 0.41 0 0.42 0 0.43 0 0.44 0 0.45 0 0.46 0 0.47 0 0.48 0 0.49 0 0.50 0 0.51 0 0.52 0 0.53 0 0.54 0 0.55 0 0.56 0 0.57 0 0.58 0 0.59 0 0.60 0 0.61 0 0.62 0 0.63 0 0.64 0 0.65 0 0.66 0 0.67 0 0.68 0 0.69 0 0.70 0 0.71 0 0.72 0 0.73 0 0.74 0 0.75 0 0.76 0 0.77 0 0.78 0 0.79 0 0.80 0 0.81 0 0.82 0 0.83 0 0.84 0 0.85 0 0.86 0 0.87 0 0.88 0 0.89 0 0.90 0 0.91 0 0.92 0 0.93 0 0.94 0 0.95 0 0.96 0 0.97 0 0.98 0 0.99 0 0.10 0 0.11 0 0.12 0 0.13 0 0.14 0 0.15 0 0.16 0 0.17 0 0.18 0 0.19 0 0.20 0 0.21 0 0.22 0 0.23 0 0.24 0 0.25 0 0.26 0 0.27 0 0.28 0 0.29 0 0.30 0 0.31 0 0.32 0 0.33 0 0.34 0 0.35 0 0.36 0 0.37 0 0.38 0 0.39 0 0.40 0 0.41 0 0.42 0 0.43 0 0.44 0 0.45 0 0.46 0 0.47 0 0.48 0 0.49 0 0.50 0 0.51 0 0.52 0 0.53 0 0.54 0 0.55 0 0.56 0 0.57 0 0.58 0 0.59 0 0.60 0 0.61 0 0.62 0 0.63 0 0.64 0 0.65 0 0.66 0 0.67 0 0.68 0 0.69 0 0.70 0 0.71 0 0.72 0 0.73 0 0.74 0 0.75 0 0.76 0 0.77 0 0.78 0 0.79 0 0.80 0 0.81 0 0.82 0 0.83 0 0.84 0 0.85 0 0.86 0 0.87 0 0.88 0 0.89 0 0.90 0 0.91 0 0.92 0 0.93 0 0.94 0 0.95 0 0.96 0 0.97 0 0.98 0 0.99 0 0.10 0 0.11 0 0.12 0 0.13 0 0.14 0 0.15 0 0.16 0 0.17 0 0.18 0 0.19 0 0.20 0 0.21 0 0.22 0 0.23 0 0.24 0 0.25 0 0.26 0 0.27 0 0.28 0 0.29 0 0.30 0 0.31 0 0.32 0 0.33 0 0.34 0 0.35 0 0.36 0 0.37 0 0.38 0 0.39 0 0.40 0 0.41 0 0.42 0 0.43 0 0.44 0 0.45 0 0.46 0 0.47 0 0.48 0 0.49 0 0.50 0 0.51 0 0.52 0 0.53 0 0.54 0 0.55 0 0.56 0 0.57 0 0.58 0 0.59 0 0.60 0 0.61 0 0.62 0 0.63 0 0.64 0 0.65 0 0.66 0 0.67 0 0.68 0 0.69 0 0.70 0 0.71 0 0.72 0 0.73 0 0.
because your final answer should be equal to 1. Reason? These are all probabilities and their sum should be equal to 1. Now we have done the first step of creating the Huffman tree. Now let's tabulate the code word and length of code word. Okay, we will start from the bottom most code word, okay. Now, M5, which is this, M5 goes through this path, okay. It first encounters 1 and then it goes through this path and here, it again encounters 1, then it goes through this path it encounters 0 and finally reaches 1. So, now we will write the code word in reverse order. So, 0, 1, 1. This is the code word. For M4, it starts from here, 0, then goes up to this path, encounters 1 and then 0. So, 0, 1, 0. This is my code word. For M3, M3 goes from here, encounters 1, then goes up to this path and then again encounters 1. So 2 times 1. So 1, 1 and then M3. Then M2 goes from here, encounters 0, and then encounters 1. So in reverse order it will be equal to 1 and then 0. M1 it goes from here encounters 0 and then again encounters 0. So 0, 0. So thus we have completed the table for code word. Now the next thing is code word length. This is abbreviation for code word. So code word length. This is equal to 2. That is the number of bits. We just have to count the number of bits and write it. So 2, 2, 2, 3, 3. We have completed this part of tabulating the code word and the length of the code word. Now next we have to find the average code word length. Average code word length is given by L. Average code word length. It is given by L and it is equal to summation k equals to 1 to n p of k, which is nothing my pro but probability of my kth term multiplied by length of nk, which is nothing but the length that I just calculated in bits. So here my k goes from 1 to n but in this question the maximum value that n will have is 5 because we have 5 message bits. So my formula changes to k equals to 1 to 5 p of k into length of n of k. So let's expand it. For k equal to 1 I will have p of 1 into n of 1 which is basically length plus p of 2 into length n of 2 plus p of 3 into n of 3 plus p of 4 into n of 4 plus p of 5 into n of 5 which is equal to the first probability that is 0.4 multiplied by length is 2. The next one will be 0.2 multiplied by 2. So I will write it down here. 0.4 into 2 plus 0.2 into 2 
the next one is 0.2 into 2 plus 0.1 into 3 plus 0.1 into 3 solving this adding this all together whatever answer that we get let like if we solve it i will have equals to 2.2 .2, okay this is nothing but my n we have completed this now let's determine the entropy entropy is given by h And that is equal to summation k equals to 1 to n. Here my n is 5, so I am writing 5. P of k, which is my probability, multiplied by log base 2, 1 up by P of k. So what this means is that I will have 0.4, which is my first probability, multiplied by log base 2 into 1 upon 0.4 plus Second probability which is 0.2 into log base 2, 1 upon 0.2 plus 0.2 into log base 2, 1 upon 0.2 plus 0.1 into log base 2, 1 upon 0.1 plus 0.1 into log base 2, 1 upon 0.1. On solving this, the final answer that I get is 2.12193. So, we have calculated the entropy also. The final thing is to calculate efficiency and redundancy. The formula, first the efficiency is given by eta. And it is equal to h by l multiplied by 100. So whatever answer that you get from here that will be in percentage. Okay. So what you need to do is just write the value of h which is 2.12193 multi uh, sorry divided by l which is 2.2 multiplied by 100. Calculate the answer for this, that will be your efficiency. And then final part is redundancy, which is given by R. That is equal to 1 minus eta. So whatever answer you get for this efficiency, 1 minus that answer will be equal to your redundancy. Now the problem here is the answer that you you will get here will be in percentage okay suppose you get suppose okay you have to calculate it but sub, let's assume that you are getting 97.2 then you cannot subtract 1 minus 97.2 you will get a negative value what you need to do is just divide this answer by 100 so you will have 0 0.972 subtract this from 1 and then you will get your value of redundancy I hope you have understood till here. All the sums from this question, from this chapter actually follow the same rule. You first need to write the values, then arrange them in decreasing order. After arranging them in decreasing order, start from below. Add the bottommost two values write 0 and 1 and then check whether it is higher than your top value or lower than that if it is higher let's say if i had something here 0 0.3.3 0 .3, if we had 0 0.3.3 .3, so 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 would be 0.6 and this is my 0.4 so my 0.6 would have gone here and my 0.4 would have come down so whichever value is higher take it above your given message values and then go on solving. I hope you have understood till here. Thank you. Let's see in you in the next video.